Hello, Repony. I'm Green Bean. I'm Sophia. And today we're actually reading a fan recommended, um, fin fan fiction recommended by narrator 007, or 007 for those James Bond fans out there. And Do you think it was a reference? I'm not sure, but either way, we are reading Unicorn Horns are made of candy. Delicious candy. Delicious candy. Exactly. Pinkie Pie jumped up and shoved another book in Twilight's face. How about this one? Pony history. Sir Chef from the top. Twilight rolled her eyes as Pinkie zipped off to shelve the book. Organizing certainly was easier when... How about this one? Pinkie held up a huge, dusty volume. How had that book gotten on the floor? Forbidden magic, Chef, in the restricted section. And whatever you do, do not open. <laughs> There's just a Wait, shelf. You have, for you have a forbidden magic, Chef? <laughs> that's pretty great. In the restricted section, even. That, that's amazing. But not that restricted, because Pinky can go to it. Yeah, apparently it isn't. You'd think it'd be restricted with a magic bubble, but why would you even have a forbidden magic shelf? You'd think that in itself would be forbidden. <laughs> She shook her head. At least she had gotten an eager librarian assistant for the small price of a couple of cups of espresso. With Spike out of action, she needed the help. Wait, Spike's out of action? Did he die? <laughs> I'm assuming that, like, he assassinated Spike. <laughs> so she take away his lord. Makes sense. I don't know who would want to do that, but yeah. Right. So she can learn about forbidden magic. Oh, right, right. Pinky darted back again. What about this? The window crashed, and screaming blow of rainbow smashed into Pinky's backside. <laughs> Pinky flew forward, and before Twilight could react, she was tacked down to the floor, books flying everywhere. Twilight blinked as the dust settled. Sorry about that. Rainbow wiped the back of her head. I'll replace the window again. It's Just... actually like her <laughs> secret, right? Like she's trying to hit on Twilight. <laughs> She just doesn't exactly understand that hitting on someone does not mean hitting them. <laughs> exactly. That's See, that's actually why she's always crashing into other ponies. It's her way of flirting. Yeah, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a twi-dash idea. Yeah. It's a wide head cannon. Again, I guess the tornado barrel roll still needs a little work. The first thing Twi noticed was that her horn, horn was in Pinky's mouth. Sounds like an innuendo. Huh? Pinky stared at it, eyes wide. Mm. I, I'm Her not tongue gonna... began to move, <laughs> slipping all over it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Twilight yanked it out and stood up. Ew, Pinky, no! <laughs> she shook her head as if it could shake away the itch. Sitting <laughs> upright, Pinky licked her lips. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Grape flavored. My horn is way flavored. <laughs> Wait, what flavored? Rainbow stared at her. What are you talking about? Pinky blinked for a moment. The whirling of phone ringing. Ah, <laughs> uh, exactly. Yeah. All right. So, where were the we? The whirling of gears in her head was almost audible. <laughs> wow. Pinky's head is intense. Pinky's actually a robot. Twilight's horn tastes like grape candy! Ignoring her, Twilight reached up and touched her horn cautiously. She yanked it back and shook it. Ew, Pinky, it's so sticky. Jeez. This... I, don't know if they, I don't know if she was using her mouth on that horn or not. <laughs> this entire thing, I just... It's just one big innuendo. Also, grape candy. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of grape candy, but that's just me personally. Hey, if it was Twilight's grape. <laughs> oh, you. But yeah. <laughs> uh, that is awesome! Rainbow, Rainbow loved. loved. Twilight, why does your horn taste like grape? What are you, what have you been doing to grapes? Twilight ignored Rainbow. Pinky, you should never do that to any unicorn. Guess in Pinky's head went into overdrive. Twilight wouldn't have been surprised to see smoke drifting out of her ears. 
Finally, Pinky shook her head. It ratted. Wait, so all unicorns have candy horns? Her eyes went wide. Are they different flavors? I have to find out! Pinky, no, you can't just... <laughs> he was already out through the door and outside. There would be no catching her now. Rainbow kept staring at her. Tried that glit. What? Biting her lips. Rainbow kept quiet for a moment longer before she finally blurred out. Can I have a taste? Yes. <laughs> and then the best shipping camp. Yep, and, and then the fan fiction faded to black and, and porn music happened. It, it, it does fade to black because now we follow Pinky. Oh, so yeah. whatever, Rainbow Dash and Twilight. Exactly. It's for Where another day, hum? another fan fiction. Where would he hum to herself as she placed another cup of feathers in the new sun head she was walking on? It was probably a giant head. <laughs> she rubbed a hoof to her shin and then adjusted her little red la glasses. I'm doing well here, aren't I? God yeah. damn it. How did <laughs> I get up to that? I don't know. You're the one who said you wanted to do rarity. No one wants to do rarity. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps blue would be better than red. Maybe rainbow could part with a primary or two. Pinky burst in through the door. Hi, rarity! Guns blazing. <laughs> oh, good morning, Pinky. Rarity smiled. What brings you here? I have a surprise for you. From you. Wait, Wait is that supposed to be from? Yeah, it it says from. It does. Like, like it's supposed to be from. <laughs> Weird. It is supposed to be because it, you're gonna see. But yeah. anyway, you said it as for. Rarity squinted uh. at her, setting her glasses down on the desk next to her. I think you mean. You have a surprise for me. Nope. Pinky bounced over to her. It's definitely from you. Okay, Pinky, now you don't eat. Now you sound like cupcakesy, and I don't know if I approve. Where is she shrugged? She is. All right then. What is it? Pinky grinned at her, a little disturbingly. Jesus, it is like cupcakes, except the horn version. But I mean, she does. Whatever. Close your eyes and look at the floor. Pinky, I can't look at anything. My eyes are closed. I can't do both. Ah! Uh, Pinky shook her head. Well, close your eyes and pretend to look at the floor. Do you think she plays these games with the cup of cake baby? I forgot what they were named. The uh, Mr. and Mrs. Cake, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Rarity rolled her eyes and shrugged. Very well. She did as she was told. You know, For a moment, nothing happened. Uh, on one hand, I want to say this is really suspicious. On the other hand, it's the kind of thing where I'm like, I don't know. It's really hard to say if I would play along if I was Rarity. <laughs> I but guess I would. Probably. I mean, like, you yeah. don't have a shot. Is yeah. Kind of Eve. Exactly. It's fair. And if you say no, she's probably just going to go about it. She's probably like, oh, well, then I guess I'm going to the mirror, boys. See you later. <laughs> then Rarity fed something on her horn. Something wet and soft. Rarity darted back, opening her eyes just in time to catch a droplet of droll in one of them. Jeez. <laughs> Spit in your eyes, must that doesn't sound fun. Pinky, what are you? Rarity touched her horn. She gasped. Ugh, gross, gross, gross. Pinky, no. Pinky smiled. Mmm, marshmallow. Pinky, I demand you leave my boutique this instant. Okay. Pinky bounced on her way out. I've got a lot to do today anyway. Like, honestly, like the grape flavor, grape flavor, grape flavor was not wrong. <laughs> this is like, this is kind of like borderline, right? <laughs> it really kind of is. Pinkie Pie really has no sense of boundaries. Lyra sat with her best friend on her favorite bench, watching ponies go by in the park. It was one of her favorite things to do on a nice day. And it provided endless entertainment, watching all these ponies go through their day-to-day -day troubles. Like, well, you're a bit of a psycho. <laughs> it's like, watch it, them, watch it, them, run as they try to survive. Hey, I... People, people, some people are into people watching. I, it's not that exactly, weird. Exactly, and they're psychos. <laughs> I mean, who watches, like, someone just read a fanfiction on the internet? Only psychos would do that. <laughs> I suppose that's pretty fair. 
Something made a noise behind her, but she didn't bother about that. She was busy watching a mother unicorn. Sea swirl, was it? Or maybe her name was Sea Foam. Something C anyway. Drake had little earth pony for it, along with magic, putting him away from the marketplace. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that sounds really kind of violent, actually. <laughs> he screamed and reached for the long lost market. Wow, oh, jeez. <laughs> That's pretty like, intense. You can't carry him? You gotta, like, like drag <laughs> him over the floor? I know, seriously, come on. Why Why would you have to be like that, Mrs. Whatever your face is? What was it, Lyra wondered, that the four had wanted there? Was it good that his mother had denied it, or was it just something they couldn't afford? Or maybe he just... <laughs> You know, admittedly, I'm starting to see your psycho angle here. She sees this fall and she's just... All these gears start turning. She's like, hmm, what could this fall have wanted? What did he I'm want? A, I'm a, I'm I need trust to know. The old people on benches. <laughs> yeah. The old people on benches are eight oil cycles. Hoofs pushed down on her shoulder and she looked up just in time to see Pinky lick her horn. Lyra jumped up. What was that? Ooh, Minty! No, that's Lyra. <laughs> I was gonna say that, that's a different party. Pinky bounced up and down. Yours is delicious! Ew. Lyra f Lyra's face crunched up. I'm scrunching my face so no one can see it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, great! Lyra's horn tastes minty? Bon Bon Blink. Man, she's, bon Bon is the one with a fucked up voice, right? Yeah, she has a different voice oh, every time she shows up. What so, was see, yeah, my voice was 100% accurate because it was not the same as the other ones. <laughs> bon Bon blinked. She looked up at her little green horn and her eyes went spectacular. Interesting! Lyra well, stalked toward Pinky. Pinky, that was. Pinky spotted Sea Swirl behind her. Ooh, gotta go! Running after her, I was struggling to catch up. Pinky, you just can't go around licking. It was too late. Pinky slurped Sea Swirl's so horn left. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know what that word is, but it sounds highly sexual. I don't know. Very lickily there. Yeah. It was enough to shock the poor pony into dropping her fall. Ran off toward the market. She just stopped and started her, stared horrified at what Pinky had just done. Mmm, <laughs> blueberry. Now that's tasty. Can I have another little... Lyra jumped in between them. Pinky, no. Stop this right now. If you... Ooh... Pinky's eyes started off to the distance. Gotta go! Pinky! Jeez, I think this Pinkie Pie is more crazy than she was in Philly Vanilli. Maybe she did? Maybe this is a Merpool version of Pinkie Pie. <laughs> you know, that would explain it. She certainly seems to have no sense of boundaries or, um, taking personal cues. She's just like, ooh, fun, candy, fun. Exactly. There you are, finally. Rarity rushed up to her little sister, ignoring the ponies. I was totally gonna read that as a completely different word. Whatever. <laughs> ponies seated at the table, so all about them. Sweetie Bear looked up at her. Of course I'm here. I told you I'd be out with my friends, trying to get waitressing cutie marks. <clears throat> and it's not quite going as we'd planned. Apple Boom staggered close by. A dozen plates of food wobbling on her back. <clears throat> hey, there's a feather in my soup. It it's supposed to be there. <laughs> Girl rushed back to what the kitchen. <laughs> I know that's what Scootaloo sound like, man. That's pretty <laughs> Scootaloo began really badly, don't question it. <laughs> yeah, she pretty. Like, come into a Rainbow Dash earlier, and this is like, just started... mm -hmm. She She turned into freaking Scootabot. Maybe it's just that Skrulu, like, got a little bit help from that, uh... Thracker's what on? Was that? That, yeah, I was gonna know. I, I'm gonna make a joke, but it would take too long. Okay. I see, Rarity winced. But enough of that. I've got to get you home before... Before what? Sweetie Bite turned her head to the side. Before... 
Out of nowhere, Pinky darted out and gave Sweeney Bass Little Juan a love. <laughs> she darted off before Rarity could stop her, saying, <clears throat> Vanilla, not really my favorite, but pretty good. Rarity sighed, her head dropped. Before that, now I have to kill you! <laughs> you fired! Exactly. Patrons in the restaurant screamed. Piggy's voice followed them. Mmm, caramel! I'm not leaving a tip! Right, you just got the tip. Another wise commented, I could say just count in union. <laughs> Jeez, Piggy's gonna have an angry mob after by the end of this story. Maybe that's a good. Because it wants a giant, like, unicorn mob, and then she would, like, go to Celestia and, like, her horn. Oh, there no. is probably how the story actually ends. Yeah, actually, probably so. And then she gets sent to the moon, and then she, there she links, links Luna's horn. Maybe, maybe, this, maybe this is like time traveling, and Luna's still stuck on the moon with Pinky, and Pinky just keeps looking at one. <laughs> exactly. Minette leaned close, carefully bringing the little mirror in so she could see the backside of her patient's teeth. Yes, just as she saw it. Several cavities spread out across the lower in God damn it, don't stop making me look so dumb. <laughs> in yeah. Kizos. I think that's no probably... The problem. Yeah. I'm just saying that's what? probably more technical tooth term, so I don't feel too bad for not knowing that one. No wonder the poor man had been in such a hurry to be seen. Multitasking her magic, she brought in an angered pig. She had need to clean them out thoroughly in order to see how deep the damage ran. With the amount of pain Lemon Heart had shed she was in, it was probably at least one of them went all the way to the woods. Which would mean she would have she would have to have uh something licked her horn. She dropped her tours. Thankfully not a in the uh, not on the patient. The that through the floor. <laughs> That'd be really terrible thinking you just caused her to like drop all of her tools into the patient's mouth. Yeah, like, so many, like, right in the throat, just dropping one of those picking things. I was like, ah, this is gonna probably hurt a little bit. Jeez. But what I was gonna say is, this guy is fucking insane, bro, at this time. <laughs> like, why would you go into so much detail about just, like, cavity and the teeth? Like, no one likes fucking cavities. <laughs> Like, you just tortured every single person who read that story and ever had cavities because they're probably like, No! My teeth! Uh, I was half expecting that it was going to go a different route and Pinkie Pie was... Uh, until it said Lemon Hearts, I was half expecting it to go a different route and Pinkie Pie was just, like, pretending to be a patient so she could lick Minuet's horn. That would be a very intricate plan. <laughs> Exactly. I said, are you saying Pinky's teeth suck? Yeah. Well, that's the idea. I mean, see, it's saying this person has several cavities. I'm sure Pinky's all her tooths probably have cavities. I think Pinky can't have cavities. Like, she's immune to it. Oh. Because she's made out of sugar. Yeah, actually, that's pretty In fact, she probably has so much sugar that the cat, whatever the bacteria is, they die from, like, sugar <laughs> overload. <laughs> Jeez. That actually makes a lot of sense, though. Pinky stuck out her tongue grotesquely. Ah, toothpaste! I hate toothpaste! They call you Colgate for a reason, stupid bitch. Jeez, it does sound like she's got a killer. <laughs> My name is Minuet! She stomped, something crunched. Looking down at her hoof, she saw that she had smashed her mirror. Great. Now they are not only need a cleaning, they have to replace one. Pinky, this is. I need something to get that flavor out of my mouth. This is telling you to holler, Sty. <laughs> Pinky looked down at Lemon Heart. Lemon scrubbed, but she couldn't get out of the chef fast enough to avoid Pinky's tongue. Jeez, it really is. Mmm, that's better. I think I've been molested by this guy. <laughs> this guy touched me in a horn that I don't even have. <laughs> touched me in a place Pinky and a way that dips. makes me feel uncomfortable. Mmm, tastes yes, like lemons. I, I should have guessed. Like, I don't know if the taste of lemons is exactly... Like, I like lemons, but 
-hmm. Licking something that tastes like pure lemons does not sound that tasty, actually. I'm, yeah, it doesn't, but I'm assuming it tastes like lemon candies, which can be good if they're done right. Minimate scoured at her. Pinky, you are never allowed in my office again! I was surprised she wasn't allowed in your office at all. I know. Sweet so, witch, ha! Huh? Pinky, you got your eyes. I never come here anyway! She bounced out into the lobby and out of Minot's hearing. By the time Minot managed to calm down her patient and get a new set of toys, Twilight Spark a burst into the exam room. Have you seen Pinky? I heard she was headed this way, and she seriously needs a talking to. Uh, at first, before she said I heard she was set it, headed this way, I was going to say, why would you assume she's here? This seems like the last place Pinky would go. But, uh, unicorns here. Yeah, that's true. I'll say... And it shook her head in motion for Lemon to sit back down. She was here a minute ago, disrupting my business and breaking all the sanitation's rules. I'm pretty sure Tommy thinks it's not against the sanitation rules. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it's not like most people did, that most doctors do, like before they start walking in mouths, they clean their tours by licking them. Jeez, I'm pretty sure that's highly against sanitation rules. <laughs> that's why it cuts your tongue, which is not that fun. Yeah. But which way did she go? Minute shrugged. I didn't see where she went when she le once she left the room. A sudden scream of Eek Trixie did does not approve Well wait, oh, 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 is it she's saying that. Yeah. Trixie was... does not approve of this violation of her personal space. Followed by an Ooh What is that? Raspberry? I love raspberry. I do you? No, all well, kind of. <laughs> Do you very confused? No, maybe, yes, maybe, no. <laughs> right. The side of the That's very window was deep. enough to set as a question. <clears throat> Anything I had to add? Nah. Wings flapping to speed her up. Twilight washed out. Oh my god, it's it's magic twilight? Yeah, I guess it's a unicorn twilight. <laughs> Alicorn. I, I'm sorry, Alicorn. I don't know why I said unicorn. She always was a unicorn. She wasn't. Maybe she said it as an earthworm. <laughs> Twilight rushed out through the lobby. Minute shook her head and turned back to her patient. Okay. Maybe now we can finally get back on track with the toothache and I can remove all of your teeth. Replace them with toothpaste tubes. And shotguns. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> when, fi when Twilight finally found Trixie outside, the, sh the show more was still seething. Trixie, Twilight cried out. What are you doing back in Ponyville? Is it just called Trixie? <laughs> yeah. Trixie or Trixie? I don't know. I, I think I'm shipping them already. Trixie sat down across the front house. Getting violated, apparently. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's some way to greet you back in town. I think that's probably worse than her last time here. Sure, I got booed yeah, out of town. She deserve it, though. <laughs> I'm sure this was actually like one of Twilight's like those laws when she took over the town. <laughs> See, Any Trixies will be uh, will be violated by the full extent of the law. Jeez. And I am the law. <laughs> so they will be violated by the full extent of the Twilight. <laughs> that's an interesting <laughs> law. Must Twilight. Twilight. Twilight scan. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> you go ahead. Twilight scan around, but there was no sign of the perpetrator. Pinky was here. Yes. Trixie's eyes narrowed and her scar deepened. Trixie is busy planning an elaborate and satisfying revenge. You want her there, were you? But I'd back to a little. Not permanently. God, I love Trixie. You know, you're, I... you kind of deserve to be violated with your horn. What? Trixie isn't that bad. <laughs> Jeffy, she's honestly, like, she, honestly, we, we, keep, we keep mentioning Iron Will, and she's like no more a villain than Iron Will. Yeah. Well, but that's true. She's in like three, but that doesn't. Yeah, well, that, yeah, mainly because she was under mind control, I, but, and she kind of got redeemed at the end, so it's fine. Twilight touched her own horn again, 
It was all sticky. She's okay. Like how sticky is to, like it, it, this adds predators to my whole sugar CV because <laughs> now my spit is not that sticky. Yeah, it really shouldn't. Your horns still should be that sticky. I have a lot of horns in my time. And they are not that sticky. Ah, uh, yeah. Good enough for me. Did you see where she went? Hmm. Trixie told her that if she was so enamored of unicorn horn, she should go to Canterlot. Why would when you, you have time to say all that before Twilight showed up? I don't know. Also, now I have a reason to hate on you, Trixie, because that's dumb, and you should feel bad. Wait, no. It was very smart. She sent her to Celestia, so Celestia could get the revenge. But I think it was her revenge. That, that looks like the plan, actually, looking at this. Yeah, something like that. She stood up and shook her head. Strands of her mane stuck to her horn. Perhaps she will lick a royal guard, and they will throw her in a dungeon. She shuddered. Goddess, I hope so. Jeez, I mean, I don't even know what horns do in this universe, but this is like extremely, <laughs> like, like you guys are very touchy. Affected. Yeah. But <laughs> the Celestia wrote the scroll tightly back together and filled, fired it along with all her other letters from Twilight Sparkle. She was grateful that Twilight had managed to send her a letter, even though Spike was down with a temporary case of dragon itch. She gave her enough time to warn Luna. Dragon itch. Up. What kind of disease is that? Dragon itch. Hey, uh, you don't want to know what kind of itch it is. <laughs> All right. Well, th given Keep this fan it's, 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 in the alternate universe, it's also known as the rarity itch. Hmm. I see. Gotcha. Keeping her guard up and her wits about, her, she resumed her day. The combined research notes of Prism Shine and Zero Skill beckoned. She had been able to read much yet, but it promised to deliver exciting advances of the understanding of. What do you What do you want to be named Zero Scale? For some reason, that just seems like something that's a really sad thing to be named Zero Scale. But maybe it makes them really good at sneaking. <laughs> so I guess I'm reading Luna. Um. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Flee! The pink one is upon us. Jeez. No, what? what? Uh, that's intense. Luna yeah. rushed in through one door of the study and continued right out through the other. Pinky hopped in through the door. <clears throat> Princess, come back! Your blackberry horn is so delicious! <laughs> I don't want to taste that. <laughs> Pinky froze when she noticed Celestia. Jeez, th this fanfiction will lead to a lot of people if they ever get to equestria doing really awkward things. What? Maybe it turns out in Equestria, yeah, this is actually like perfectly accepted culture. Maybe this is how like ponies greet each other. Uh, maybe so. Pinky froze when she noticed Celestia. Oh, wait, sorry. I read that. Ooh. Celestia glared at her. Don't you dare. Walking as if in trance, Pinky slowly approached. Her eyes were locked onto Celestia's long, wide horn. She licked her lips. Mm. You leave me no choice. With a slight frown and bright glow of magic, Celestia turned Pinky into stone. <laughs> Jeez! That has <laughs> really... yeah, no eyes. I was like, I got You saw she was coming at me with a gun. You saw the gun. <laughs> you saw it. You saw what she was planning to do. Royalty cannot be touched like that. A moment later, Twilight. I said Luna wasn't gonna kill her. No later, Twilight Sparkle rushed inside. But Celestia, I think Pinky's on her way here, and uh, if we hear her, we can. <laughs> spotted the pink statue. Oh. Don't be alarmed, Twilight. She's only dead. <laughs> She's only dead. So, yeah, it will only take a thousand years, don't worry. <laughs> Celestia walked up to the statue. The Petrificus spell can be reversed at any time. I just needed to hold her still long enough to explain that she needs to stop. Twilight it's dead at the stone, Pinky. She can hear us? Perfectly. As you surely remember from the cockatrice incident you wrote to me about. Wait, I wrote you about that? What a kind of moron would do that? I know, seriously. Like, I totally admitted to getting pwned by a cockatrice. Dear Princess Celestia. Why didn't just own me right there? Dear Princess Celestia, I got turned to stone today. It wasn't very fun. You're a faithful student. That's the best, like, friendship lesson. <laughs> Don't get stoned. Oh. 
Celestia sat down in front of the statue and stared up at her, staring with that creepy, entranced hunger. Pinkamina Deanna Pie, this wanton licking of ponies horns is a gross violation of their privacy and dignity, and you will desist at once. If I hear any more non-consensual horn licking from you, I'll be forced to turn you to stone again. And that time, you'll stay encased in stone for longer. Like a thousand years longer. So that's the, I, I, I'm not violent right now. I'm like, so that's the, you know we have a law system, right? <laughs> law system doesn't mean shit. I am the law. Exactly. She patted a statue on the head. Now, you are far more valuable to me as one of Twilight's friends rather than as one of the statues in my garden. So you will, will you promise to behave from now on? You know, this is actually kind of funny and interesting. It seems to imply that all of the statues in her garden from the uh, Discord episode were things uh, she just... turned to stone. Yeah, this is evil, man. <laughs> I like it. I suggest that Eva is always best. With another bright flash of sun magic, the stone shell around Pinky shattered into tiny sparkling pieces. Twilight stared at Pinky. Well, as he didn't really explain anything. <laughs> oh, you were like, don't do it, I will kill you. <laughs> yeah. Because he did explain why it was bad, he just like, I'm gonna cut you, bitch. Yeah, well, admittedly, when the sun goddess tells you that, I think it's usually a good enough reason to stop. But yeah, but Twilight told you that at the beginning. Well, Twilight sat down and stared at the floor for a moment before looking up. Hmm. Wait, uh, I seem to have lost my place. I promise not to lick any more unicorn or alicorn horns unless I have permission to. Cross my heart and hope to fly, stick a cupcake in my eye. Twilight nodded, and if you break that promise, I will stick a cupcake in your eye. <laughs> that cupcake will be a knife. <laughs> Jeez, the sharpest cupcake in existence. Uh, uh. I think he blanched. There's only one place I have to... St I... <clears throat> There's only one place I like to have... St cupcake stuck in me and that's my no wait that's not right the other place what are you thinking yeah my mouth that's a grin and shook her head very well I... pinky go and lick no more when i have like have a like a bay in her that's what celeste <laughs> uses maybe that's what celeste's plan she does us a tour like <laughs> so if the unicorns ever rebel against her then she's like I have Pinkie Pie, and she just sends Pinkie Pie on them. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. It's a real reason that Twilight. Pinkie Pie is an element of harmony. Yep. Twilight grinned as Pinkie left the room. Hmm. You got to teach me that Patrick Ferrara spell sometimes. It looks really useful. Celestia pursed her lips. Twilight? Yes, Princess. <laughs> Silence hung heavily in the air. Jeez, Twilight, what does my horn taste like? Try to jump back. What? How would I know? I never. <laughs> Calm down, Twilight. I know you'd never do anything like that. Celestia so looked up at her own horn. It's just, I can't reach it myself. Jeez. Are you asking me to? Christ, <laughs> eyes open wide. No, I'm not doing that. Relax, Twilight. It's for science. Right, yeah. <laughs> this that, just that's what they always tell you. <laughs> the most intense clock ever began. <laughs> right, let's down and back up at Celestia. For, for science? It turned... God damn it, dude. <laughs> so rapidly <laughs> licked her lips. She probably wasn't even consciously aware of it. Celestia nodded. She leaned her head down, bringing her long horn close to Twilight's face. What followed was probably the smallest, most hesitant lick in all of recorded history. That's... Oh. That's weird. Twilight wrote her taste, wrote the taste around her mouth. As little... A little as Celestia pulled away, back 
to a more dignified position. It's an interesting flavor. Sort of pina colada. Says so look down at her. Hmm. She glanced away for a moment before looking back. And yours? Twilight crin crinched away. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's that crinched away. God damn it, I can't say it. Cringed pretty hard. <laughs> it's great. Ah. Uh, it's a shame. So, so long awkward moments of silence passed. Do I finally look back at Celestia? Ah, uh, oh. Um, she blushed. You can try it if you want. <laughs> oh. Well, she probably has tried it many times in your sleep. I'm sure she has. Princess Wesley never sleeps, but still, <laughs> this was this was the, probably the best cop non cop fic I've ever read. Ten out of ten. Yeah, out, not card and club fic. Yeah. <laughs> it was the best horn licking. It was the best horn licking not club fic I've ever read. Exactly. <laughs> Which also was the only horn licking story I've ever read. I think. Yeah. I I wouldn't say the concepts my favorite, but this was really well written, and the For concepts. For that joke funny. being so common, it's actually not a very common. Yeah, I'm surprised how often I like I haven't really seen a fan fiction like exactly like this before. Yep. Well, there, there we go. Mm, oh. If you want to make ponies happy, put a potter to to Cressia and lick all the ones. Yep. Make sure to tell them what their horn tastes like. They really like that. And and remember, it's for science, not not anything maybe, weird. Maybe this, you would have gone away if you had just said that. Like, I was actually <laughs> conducting science. I was Ex conducting research for a book I was going to write. Exactly. It seems like she could have gotten away with that. Celestia likes science. Oh, also, author's note. Cadence tastes like bubblegum, and shining armor tastes like coconut. Bleh. Sorry. What? <laughs> I'm not a big coconut fan, I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I don't know if I would say shining out tastes like coconut. I don't know what else he would taste like, to be fair, so I'm not gonna argue it. He tastes like windshield cleaner. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be pretty funny. Uh... Sorry, having them come to Canterlot or having Pinky go to the Crystal Empire would just be too contrived. I hope you enjoyed my silly little story. <laughs> you did. You get a, you get, you get one lick out of one. Ah, <laughs> uh, indeed. You get however many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop. Actually, it's, it's, it's the center of a unicorn horn. Yeah. <laughs> That too. Jeez, that sounds pretty intense if you can actually lick the horns down like that. Uh. Anyways, so that Maybe was... Maybe that's why they got so Maybe there's like only a certain amount of licks. Yeah, I mean, that I would actually understand. I'd be pretty upset if, uh, every time someone licks my horn, it gets rid of some of my horn. Maybe back in the old days, before ponies like Pinkie Pie existed, all horns looked like alicorn horns. <laughs> Either way. So, thank you all for watching, and, uh, hope to see you all next time.